at the airport, Kim King Abdullah will be waiting for the president uh, at the bottom of the stairs. Um, he will be greeted by 21, uh, this is very interesting, a 21-gun salute. And this very is a president, the 44th president of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, a president uh, that looks, as Mike Barnacle said, uh, like no other uh, American president that's been there, a president who I believe, and I know a lot of people believe, has certain advantages uh, in this region. And, uh, you know, it is so interesting, Mika, that during the campaign, um, the president's middle name was treated like a bad word for reasons I don't really understand. Um, uh, this is actually a great advantage for us, uh, for this country oh, right absolutely. now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, just symbolically uh, alone, as Barnacle right. pointed out. Uh, a president, Mike Barnacle, that's got an opportunity to reach out to the Arab world in a way that no other president has. It's, it's never been done before from the Oval Office, from the presidency, or even the traveling presidency. It's, it's truly, truly, uniquely capital H historical moment. Mm. And there's no doubt that this White House, as they go, that they're going to talk about a variety of issues, no doubt Savannah laid them out, but... The big issue, of course, Middle East peace, trying to bring together an Israeli government that's led by a real hardliner, Netanyahu, uh, trying to figure out some way to chart a peace plan uh, with Palestinians who elected back in 2005 Hamas to, to run uh, their government. And uh, it's going to be a Herculean task to forge a peace plan. And, and, and Joe, speak to the symbolism of the president on this trip not stopping in Israel. Hmm. There's no, there is no doubt the president sending, uh, sending a message to the Arab world, an Arab world that is believed since, certainly since 1967, that the United States of America has, has too often uh, been biased towards the needs and the interests and the security concerns of Israel and put those uh, uh, above the needs of the Arab world. Um, this president, though, is trying to present, and it certainly causes consternation for many people in America, uh, but, but this, is a, this is a president that is trying to take, chart a more centered course. Got the uh, national anthem playing, and then they're going to go inside uh, the airport hangar. They're going to have Arabian coffee, and the president is going to be staying overnight tonight at the uh, King's Horse Farm in the desert outside Riyadh. Let's take a moment and listen in here. You're watching live coverage of President Barack Obama's arrival in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. More coverage when we return. Andrew, stay with us. Morning Joe continues after a break with Jim Cramer. We'll be right back.